All right, here we are with some more Melty Blood. Well, some more. I mean, I haven't played Melty Blood since the new characters came out, but I mean, playing some Melty Blood, playing some Melty Blood. And, um, I, yeah, I, I, I was playing, I was trying to get better, right? This is going to sound really stuck up what I'm about to say, but I just have to say this because, like, at this point, I just don't understand what the problem is with this game. Um... If, so, you're going to see at the end of this game, this guy's win record with this character, right? And you're going to see mine. Um, I've said this before in my other Melty Blood videos, so I'm not capping. You can check, you can watch those and literally see me saying this. Why is this game so easy? I don't understand. I seriously don't understand why this game is so easy. Um, it, it, I literally talked about it before. It's my number one complaint. I don't know if I'm just fighting the wrong people, but I hop into ranked, and a lot of the time, I'm pretty bored because I'm not really thinking. I'm just playing the game, right? So, um, yeah, I was just playing, and I wasn't playing for very long. Uh, and I'm, I'm using a new character here, right? I want to try this guy because he looks cool. And, you know, he he's he's kind of uh, brain dead in his... Uh, he has a lot of armor. But I literally just started playing this, this character. And this guy, I mean, wait until you see how many matches he has with this character. Um, and spoiler alert, he doesn't take a single match off of me. Am I just a prodigy at this game or is it just really easy? And I, I felt this way literally since I bought the game like a year ago and I've been playing it. I'm like, I'm doing surprisingly well for someone who just started playing the game. And then as I played the game more, it never got any harder, even as I increased in ranks. The only guy that I seriously feel like I can't beat is like a, a top rank like Vlav player, like that zoner guy. All right, look how many wins this guy has. 2,221 wins. I have 13 wins. So at this point, I'm going about like 13 and like 4 with this character or something like that. Because um, I just started playing him. And this guy is going 2,200 and he only had 700 losses. So he played almost 3,000 matches with this character and only lost 700 of them. And I'm absolutely obliterating him. Um... And yeah, I, I didn't want to make this video to like complain about the game. This isn't even really a complaint. It's just so weird to me how every time I hop on the game, this happens. Like, and maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing, but I don't know. Um, I really don't know. This game, this, this has always felt incredibly easy to me. And I don't know if I'm just looking in the wrong places to fight like really tough opponents. But I can't find them. I mean, obviously, at this point, I barely know any combos with this character, and I'm still pulling through. Um, and this move right here, this move that makes me go get super armor, I don't see anybody use it. Uh, well, at least the guys that I follow, including this guy. Um, but it seems broken, and it's literally won me all these matches. Spoiler alert, I literally win this match. I know it doesn't look like it, but I do. So, like, what is happening? I just don't understand how this game works, bro. I really don't. Um, every single time. Every single time I win. And, I, and I, this, this was recorded a few days ago, so by, by now I'm going, like, 40 and, like, 15 with this character or something like that. So, like... Yeah, I, I barely lose in this game. Um, like, what I would say is, out of every fighting game I've ever played, this is the game where I just started off the bat with like an 80 or 70% win percentage. Which I've never done in any other fighting game. When, when, like, when I first pick up a fighting game and I try to learn it, I'm normally at like a 40 or 50 win percentage, and then my win percentage would shoot up to a 70 or an 80. But in this game, I'm like, I like started at a 70 or an 80, and it hasn't really dropped ever. 
Um, the only time I really struggled is when Neko Art came out, but even then I was still getting consistent wins with her, so I don't know. Um, and I, I decided to include this match. This match is from a few days after. Um, and I included this one because finally I feel like I could have I actually lost this match. Um, which I, 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 spoiler alert, I do lose a match, but... Yeah, I decided to include this because it just feels like a match that I could lose. Um, anyways, uh... If you don't know, this is very big news. I, this is what I wanted to talk about. I, I ended up talking about the, the difficulty of Melty Blood um, for a little longer than I expected, but this is what I wanted to talk about. Street Fighter V has a two... Or Street Fighter V, my bad. Street Fighter VI has a two million dollar prize pool. It's finally happened. It's finally happened. People are getting... Look, no offense to COD, right? No offense to Valorant, CSGO, League of Legends. But, man, fighting games were the OG, um, like, eSport before all these other eSports existed. And they are still arguably the hardest one to... Not even trying to be that type of guy, but they are still the hardest one for the most part. And... The prize pools were insane. We're talking the biggest tournament in the world. You'd be lucky if first place got $10,000. Now, first place is getting a million dollars. Who knows? Third place could get $100,000, $200,000. Eighth place might even get like 20000 Like... It's, it's insane. It's insane what's happened. It is insane what has happened. Um, and I have stated before that I was going to compete in Street Fighter VI. Um, I don't know if I'm still going to, but what I will say is that um, even if I do compete in Street Fighter VI, you're not going to see me going for no $1 million first place prize, okay? I understand what it takes to be the best player in a fighting game, and what I will tell you is that I don't have it, okay? I just don't have it. Um, I'm not delusional, okay? And yes, I was a top DNF dual player, right? Um, consistently. But this is Street Fighter we're talking about. This isn't DNF dual, this is Street Fighter. Um, and this prize pool is going to attract many people from other games. Um, so what people don't realize is that this may be the hardest fighting game ever made to compete in. Um, because it's going to have some Tekken Pro switch over, it's going to have some Guilty Gear Pro switch over, it's already going to have the Street Fighter Legends, right? You're telling me I stand a chance against Justin Wong, Daigo, you know, these Tekken players, like, no. I know. I know that I'm not bad at fighting games, but I know that I don't have the willpower to play the games that much, right? If I get on Street Fighter 6 and I turn out to be a prodigy that no one can stop, sure, I'll go for it, right? But number one, I didn't even play Street Fighter 5, right? Number two, I didn't even play Street Fighter 4. And number three, I, I only started playing Third Strike in like the last like five years, right? So, I don't have, and, and I do think I will start playing Street Fighter V because, yes, I do want to be a top player in ranked, at least. You know, I want to be up there at least top, you know, 100, top 500. But for actual, like, eSports, being number one is just, it's not possible, you know. For a lot of people, and I see a lot of people who don't really even compete talking about, I'm going to go for this. You just, you have to accept that you just, it's just disrespectful, I feel like. I feel like it's disrespectful. 
there's a lot of people I saw just saying, you know, I'll just play the game because, you know, maybe I'll have a chance. I just think that's disrespectful. You don't have a chance, okay? That's just how it is. Um, the, these guys... I, I play fighting games a lot, and I look like a casual compared to these guys. These guys are insane. Um, getting even top 8 against these guys is near impossible and I and I'm going to argue it's going to be the hardest fighting game to compete in ever because now uh, we're getting money you know before ten thousand dollars would last you a month or something if that um, may, maybe maybe two three months um, the Capcom Cup winner of the biggest Street Fighter 5 tournament just got a hundred thousand. That's a lot, but that ain't gonna do anything. A million dollars? If you spend a million dollars correctly, that's enough to put your, the rest of your bloodline into uh, complete, like, richness. That's literally enough to make your whole bloodline for the rest of history multi-millionaires if you spend it correctly, right? If you, if you put that million dollars into building yourself, you know, investing whatever buying real estate whatever that is enough to change your entire bloodline straight up um and a hundred thousand dollars is not enough to do that but a million a million could definitely do that if you're smart enough um and that's all i gotta say i will be competing i'm not good i'm not trying to get number one i know uh the competition that is there and it's disrespectful to say that i could compete with those guys um, anyways, you know, like, subscribe. I might talk about this more tomorrow. Um, and I think tomorrow's gonna be a Kilty Gear video. So, uh, yeah. Peace.